Hi guys, welcome to Photos of Gold. In this video, we'll be learning about implementing internationalization, which shows up multiple languages inside our React application. In this application, we'll be using Format.js. So I'm in the official website of Format.js. Inside here, we can go to Docs and Libraries, React Intel, and the Imperative API. So React Intel provides us with few APIs that comes really handy in making our application with multiple languages. So uh, React Intel uses and builds upon the internationalization API. So uh, it helps us to define custom messages inside our application as well. And also we, uh, we can use uh, for with hooks as well. And then uh, a lot of good features. And of course, uh, we can also format it date according to the languages as well and uh, time and uh, and relative time as well so we'll be using some of the api that uh, it provides so let's get started i've already bootstrapped my project with create react app we will uh, divide this video into three parts the first part would be we will introduce a simple text with multi-language support and then uh, in the second part we will uh, make uh, the use of variables inside our text and uh, in the third part we will also uh, add our multi-language support to the dates as well so first of all let's create a constant and um, add some messages hard-coded messages uh, into our application Now we will also add the language to uh, Spanish for this particular message right here. Uh, we will just introduce a select feature uh, where we can select multiple languages and uh, we'll have heading, subheading and title over there. And as per we uh, change uh, the options uh, inside our select, the language uh, will change itself. So first of all, Let's uh, also use our hooks uh, that uh, React offers us with. So here we will also import a use state hook beforehand. Oh. And we will create a constant. And inside here we can have our two state. Uh, first one is um, locale. And then other one would be set locale. Okay. Changes its states when we click on uh, the select select options that we will make. So um, we will now let's use set and you'll just add SDMO5 select over here. And inside here, we can. Um, pass on the default value the default value and the default value would be uh, locale which is uh, this uh, this one and this would be set locale and now let's a loop our multiple languages for now we can add en and for spanish es and then we can just map map it down inside this option let's pass a key to it as well And now inside this select, we can also add a default default value, which which is printed out if we don't have any uh, available uh, languages. So before that, we can also import. Intel provider 
from React Intel as well. So actually we haven't installed React Intel yet. So let's move ahead and install React Intel as well. Now, uh, in the meantime, we can also uh, make the use of a React uh, pro, uh, Intel provider now. And we can also add some on change handler to this select now. So, uh, it says add an on chain handler. So inside here, we can uh, trigger a function and name it handle the handle change. And then let's define that function over here. Uh, Handle change which takes event as a span lever, and here we can also make the use of this state set local and pass down event dot target dot value this one so that uh, this will update this state as well. So look here so now let's move ahead to uh, adding internationalization uh, as we can see that intel provider is defined but never used and also goes to the messages as well so uh, right here so now let's add our intel provider wrapper to our content overall as we need to um, wrap our content which we need to translate so we'll just add a wrapper so inside here we can make the use of format misses we can also import format misses from react Intel as well so uh, inside format message we can we it needs these id and uh, for the id we can just paste this heading right here and let's also add a default default message to this one as well So default message uh, would be a fallback message if we don't have any translation available. So um, some default text here. And then we can also uh, make the use of um, the values uh, and pass down as an argument and And the state. So now, if we format misses is not a coded format misses. Okay, now all we need to do is go back here and add our locale and add an object and call it locale. And then for the message, we can add an object where it misses locale so on that message is not exported I just uh, missed out um, misses and it should be pure so as you can see that our basic uh, language toggling is now uh, read so now let's uh, add another uh, another lines for subheading and add 
a title to it as well and we, we will add a dynamic um, variable passed into this title as well and lastly we will also uh, add support a multi, a multi language support to our dates as well so now uh, now let's go ahead and add another one format businesses because inter provider is always used and we used it to wrap all our messages that we have actually so format messages now um, let's do it for our subheading right here so uh, for this one id id would be subheading and then default message would be uh, some default messages yeah so as you can see we have two messages over here now let's move ahead and um, add some uh, titles uh, add some title and where we will have our dynamic variable for the channel name as well so uh, let's add another one add a break for now and here format message close this format message and inside here uh, we can pass down the id uh, and and then add a default message as well and the default message would be I think we have a channel name over here let's write this channel name over here as well so um, so in order to uh, add our dynamic variable so we need uh, something like we need to add values and inside here we can specify the channel name and then the channel name would be in strings and yeah I think this should be ready to go so if you can see that we have implemented this dynamic uh, portion over here uh, this is a dynamic variable so other other else um, other language would be changed but uh, this uh, this particular um, portion would be always uh, this one so yeah uh spanish and english so now let's move ahead and do um, the language conversion for the dates as well let's add a break and then before um, formatting dates we need to import format data as well and then add a format date and import it from react intel This takes some argument and add props dot data. So it's dead, and then we happen to receive props inside our app component here, the root component, and add a prop there, and then down here we can also um, now make the use of for now add a year month and day and weekday And then inside our month, 
you can write long and day would be numeric and weekday would be long so yeah I think we are okay for now so now let's go ahead and it says undefined so uh, so uh, we can also refer the document uh, the docs as well we have format date we have uh, year month and day which can be passed down in all numeric so uh, if in confusion you can also refer to the doc as well i think we are okay for right now and if we change on english and spanish we can see uh, the language changes and even the date uh, has its own uh, you know uh, its own translation over here as well so uh, it's quite similar to moment but we also have uh, the additional feature uh, provided uh, by uh, this uh, react angel uh, which helps to translate our dates as well so i think you got the point so guys i hope you got some initial ideas on creating your uh, internationalization with react intel and thank you so much for watching my videos if you guys want to learn more about code design and anything more please like share and subscribe with a click down below i'll be trying to make more better videos like this one so please find the link to the github down below and other references taken uh, during the video creation so see you in the next one